British President Bola Tinubu made a passionate appeal to Nigerians to exercise patience over the biting economic conditions in the country. And in the video posted by the official ex handle of the president, which did not re reference the end bad governance protest, the president affirmed that the present suffering is temporary and he said that good plans are in the works, urging citizens to look at the larger picture. Tinubu considered that there is an unavoidable lag between the removal of the petrol subsidy and the coming to fruition of the policies to ameliorate the effects. The president expressed his commitment to ensuring the greater good for a greater number of people, assuring that there will be a glorious dawn after the current darkness. So he is saying that there, he, 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 he acquits that there is a lag between the policies that he had and the effect it had on the people. Is that enough to show that he has he has a grip on the he, he doesn't he's bereft of ideas. That's why we tell people we say Lagos. Who told you develop Lagos? Go and ask Jan Kotde when you see him. He said Lagos had been a federal capital territory. So people misconstrue to say, Oh, but not for you. I say it's a big life. You're a student of the Nigerian crisis, that would not fly. And experience have shown. See, from what I can see. There is no deliberate effort. In fact, first of all, the Tinubu and his team lack them. They don't have, like Mandela, the quality. The first quality is that you respond according to the imbalance you have identified. Ray, mm -hmm. don't get it wrong. So if you attempt to do any other thing when the, you've not corrected the foundation, nothing else will stand. But I thought in correcting now, the foundation... Now look at this boy. What did they do with it? They've been servicing the current. But he said that he had he had sent some money to the state governors. Why would he, he send to rents? them? Have they not tried that? Didn't Buhari try that? What did we get? Why would he send to them? So wouldn't it be the fault of the state governors to he, administer It is deliberate this? because it is one way to curry support. To say, okay, Tango, you're sharing back the money to us. And Nigeria is saying that is not what is necessary. Why don't you see? The, the word subsidy is not is a democratic term. Is an administrative term. But it's only in Nigeria you hear it on a commodity that serves as a national economy. It's not correct. That's a loan, it's an aberration. Now, he mainly said that in universities up their fees. So if you borrow and you put it more on recurrent, that is just consumption, it doesn't regenerate. Mm. What happens? There is lack of industries, therefore there will be no employment. The health of the citizens will die because food will go up. So if uh, people can't buy quality food, it begins to tell on their health. Does he have the capacity to contain that? So that is why the first thing is that punish those. Look, are you surprised that President Tinubu has not made any reference against financial corruption? Like, because I qualified deliberately because good luck came up to when he was booed. He said, why would he say stealing of money? Well, of course, if you take the additional Oxford additional mean of corruption, you see that it's elaborate. Abuse of power, maladministration, failure to perform your duty. All these things are corruption. So, e.g., if Melekare is unable to say why he and his cartel import prefer that they should continue. Don't you see the fiscal with Dangote? All these things are pointer that the foundation, the frame in which any other thing you think of should stand, is already faulty. Though it's not taking the right shape. Therefore, if you're a courageous leader, the first thing to do is to deal with the characters who try to sabotage your good, if actually you have good intentions. Not till date. Everybody just carries on. Rarely have I heard President will make reference of like his predecessor, of course, whom they share the same party, so it's expected that they should run with the same ideology. He has not made reference against uh, financial corruption. Are you bothered? Is that not something that should bother us? There is no financial transparency and discipline. You keep borrowing, borrowing, that's what, what we can see is that you people rather choose to use it to enlarge your luxury lifestyle. And uh, subvert and compromise agencies, democratic institutions that should do the right thing to the detriment of majority. It should always be in your own favor. That is what we are seeing. If you get it, are you not surprised? Look at where they find the military talking tough when it's not their place. The commander in chief of one force didn't say anything wrong with that. So there is a whole lot of abuse of power, Ray. And I'm yeah. telling you that these are the indicators by UN standard 
That's how they know a performing government. Recall that he doubles as ECOWAS chairman. And the last ONGA, that is the United Nations General Assembly Conference, was he not the same one in the capacity as uh, ECOWAS chairman? Appealing and making a case to say, African countries, particularly West Africa, that has experienced the military policy taking over, that is as a result of this economic imbalance. What an irony and paradox. Mm. So these are the questions. For okay, now I was going. I'm trying to make it very practical. Look at NMPCL. Have you noticed? I wish you were privileged to go around. In the last how many months, you really see NMPCL outlets dispensing fear. What do you want us to do? Rather, what I got from intelligentsia is that they import, sell their quantity to private these other independent Whoa. marketers that is opting it close to one thousand naira a liter now. Look at it. in the last how many weeks now I've been driving red because I couldn't accumulate all the money at the same time. So I keep buying in bits, yet it can't satisfy. So my injector is suffering right now. Who is going to compensate for that? Whereas I have no reason to suffer that. You are supposed to take responsibility. To say, look, I told this whole subsidy is gone. Now that money you are distributing the government, if NMPC has a challenge, why the volume is not sufficient to the extent that all NMPC outlets must 247 supply us fear. We struggle to even get the 591. We have to have to struggle to spend it. What kind of devilish attitude is that? Yes, so, if the money is going to the governors and for right, you say go and give money. What the rice? I just finish eating. I go to defecate. The next thing I get hungry. Who told you that's a measure? Find out right now. Tinubu is in the dark. That way, Ndume already said he was put in a cage. Because if he's out of that cage, he will be able to understand by now that. Even the independent marketers are using fraudulent meters, ripping off Nigerians. You pay so much money to get fuel, they give you less quantity. And nobody is punished for it. This lack of punishment for failure to deliver service to the Nigerian people is central to whatever policy you are looking at. If you are shying away, if you keep dodging that fact, there is no volume of money. Like I pointed out at Red Cross, even over the years, distributing money to politicians, because they are politicians, if you say you are saying to governors. Experience have shown that it has never worked, and it will not work. Why don't you get Red Cross? I was on edge of somebody Red called Cross. and said, it's not a war. I said, no, go and read. Red Cross is only actually when there is a combative war. Humanitarian crisis. Red Cross is a part of, by their training and their foundation, we can trust their integrity and character. So, if you are so concerned, you want to do something in the short term, get the Red Cross. At least they will be devoid of APC, PDP, Malice, and uh, what have you. But here, oh, since we were under President you keep saying, I've sent the governors. I've, uh, I've sent the governors. Oh, what happened? Already the governors said they are soaked in political bitterness and hatred, so to speak. So, what happens? In trying to distribute, it goes only to those who shout to Shogboy for the incumbent. <laughs>